Okay, let's look at choice of system. This is very important. Eight and I'm going to look at eight and nine. Why should you avoid choosing a system that has a frictional force exerted across the system boundary? Okay, so if you've got an object that's sliding across the floor, for example, we know that there's friction between the two surfaces, and um, and so what they're saying is, why should you avoid making that your system boundary? the boundary between the two surfaces. There's two points, two reasons why. First is, uh, when there's friction, both surfaces heat up. They both heat up. Okay, so it's, it's virtually impossible to determine how much of that heat has gone into your system and how much has gone into the environment. So, if we're trying to determine the change in energy of your system, then it's very difficult if your system boundary is over there because you don't know how, how much heat has gone into the system and how much has gone out. So the first reason is due to heat, the thermal energy of the surfaces. Okay, the second one is to do with the point of application. Okay, remember work is your external force times delta x, your displacement. And that displacement is, the work is always due to the displacement, the force applied, and a displacement at the point of application. Now, if you've got a surface like this, it's very difficult to determine what is the actual point of application. So, so those are the two reasons, those two, uh, the heating of both surfaces, and that you can't determine this, that, that term over there. Okay, nine. When computing energies, should the gravitational interaction be associated with work, with potential energy, or with both? Gravitational interaction be associated with work, potential energy, or with both. So what, what does this mean? Well, remember, if you've got an object and you throw it up, we can, we can look at, throw it up or drop it, doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, but if the point is, if it changes its position... It's, if there's a displacement, up or down, doesn't matter. Um, and we're considering gravi gravitational interaction. We can consider gravitational interaction in two ways. The one is, we include the gravitational interaction in our system. When you include, say, the Earth, in your system, that means that the Earth is not an, is not e uh, exerting an external force, but uh, what's happening is your potential energy is changing. Okay, the, your delta U will change. It will not be zero. It'll change. If this moves up, then your del your change in potential energy will be positive. If this object moves down, it will be negative. Okay? Whereas if you selected only that object in your system, now the Earth, the gravitational interaction is external to your system, and it's now applying an external force, right? And so now, now inside our system, we don't consider potential energy any longer. We consider work, work done by the gravitational force. Does it make sense? You need to study this. If you change your system, you need to change how you deal with your gravitational interaction. So we can never include both of them. We either include uh, potential energy if we have the Earth within our system, or if the Earth is not in our system, we are dealing with work. Okay? And it's and you'll see that it always works out to be the same, the same amount of energy. Okay. All right. Please make sure that you understand that as you change your system, you have to change how you deal with potential energy. Okay. The, it's a similar example to uh, earlier when we had the cart smashing against the against the uh, the spring. Because the spring was not included inside the system, 
There was no change in potential energy of the system. The spring was considered an external force. However, if we included the spring inside the system, then the spring is no longer applying an external force. The potential energy of the spring is changing. In the same way, if we include the earth inside our system, the potential energy will change. Whereas if we exclude it, it then exerts an external force and does work. 